my dear brothers and sisters in the risen lord today 13th sunday of ordinary time the theme of the reading would be apostles for life the text of the gospel we are reading this sunday is the conclusion of jesus instructions to the apostles sent on mission they apply to all the baptized who are also sent to evangelize to be missionaries as a consequence of their baptism follow in jesus with love who ever love father or mother more than me he is not worthy of me matthew chapter 10 verse 37 with these surprising words jesus makes it clear that the discipleship entails a unique relationship of predilection and option for him the family bond with the father or mother or son or daughter which jesus considers a natural and lofty is not comparable to the love and free option for jesus the basis of following him as disciples the strong opposition that is established very much in semitic style can make us avoid what there is in common love love of our own people but also a demanding love of the lord follow his ways and his teaching chapter 10 verse 38 supposes loving him and as a result it implies an act of freedom freedom is found only in terms of freedom love is found only in terms of freedom although the disciples are given a body of teaching by their master first and foremost they receive a mission a meaning for their lives this is why this mission takes precedence over all other bonds which are superseded not denied rather they are configured in a new way by their fidelity to jesus christ and to his mission living in christ following jesus implies friendship and communion with him in this way discipleship which involves taking the cross of contradiction is translated into surrender and unconditional service to the poor for the disciples it means finding life matthew chapter 10 verse 39 in an absolute and definite way The call of Jesus for unconditional discipleship is not a call to mutilation or negation but instead to the fullest realization and the joy of experiencing a new feeling in being incorporated in the new life of the risen Christ. One of Paul's classical text tells us about that life. baptism incorporates us into the body of christ we make jesus journey our own like him we pass from death to life roman chapter 6 verses 3 to 4 this is our passover our message in this way our lives are converted into lives to god from a chapter 6 verse 10 death to sin is to death to selfishness to our inability to welcome 
whoever welcomes someone sent by the Lord is welcoming the Lord himself. Matthew chapter 10 verses 40 to 42. This identification of Jesus with, the, with his messages is answer to the primacy of God in the disciples' lives. This is one the Sh Shumanite woman did. She did not belong to the chosen people, but she was able to acknowledge Elisha as a holy nun of God. 2 Kings 4 9. And she welcomed him into her own house. Life is union with Christ. The ability to love and to forgive is friendship. It can be the birth of a son. 2 Kings 4 16. For this grace, let us pray during this Eucharistic sacrifice. May God bless you all. Amen.